like to couple up with this booktuber because over the few years I've known her, she's become a really great friend and we spent some wonderful evenings together getting drunk and watching movies. And so, the booktuber that I would like to couple up with is Emma Tobias. Welcome back to Drinking by My Shelf. Today is the first day of the Book Buddy-a-thon at Love Island edition, which is perfect timing because it's also my last day of work before I go on holiday and some hours, so I'm only actually working like a hot little four hours and then I'm free and I'm on holiday and I'm so excited. So the first challenge of the Book Buddy-a-thon after you've coupled up is to buddy read a book and we've chosen A Simple Favour by Darcy Bell. I'm going to start that now. I put on my sunglasses to feel cool but it's actually not at all sunny. But I'm free, I just left the office, I am officially on holiday, it's officially book buddy thon and I was going to go straight home but then I saw an Instagram advert at the Temple of Satan, so I'm now walking along the canal to go and get some. I can't quite remember how to get there, I've only been here once before but I just have a serious craving for some vegan chicken now. Well that was completely delicious and also mega filling. I am so full right now. The book also getting bizarre already. It took a really weird twist. Emma and I were texting about it like what the hell is going on? It is now starting to rain, which is not quite what I had in mind for my first summery afternoon, but time to go and get myself snuggled at home. So I've come home, been painting my toenails while catching up on Love Island, which I thought would be super cute vlog footage, but while I tried painting my nails with one hand while filming the other, I just like splodged nail varnish all over my toe. So now my toes look shit, but they are at least painted. Uh, I'm gonna catch up with Love Island anyway, and then I'll get back to reading. It is so early in the book for this many weird things to have happened. I just like can't even guess at how twisted this book is gonna get. just finished this so that's one down in one day really great start to the book buddy a -thon. um what there were so many twists and turns in this I can't even I haven't even processed how I feel about it but I love books with dark endings and this definitely has a dark ending I need to text Emma about it right now now I'm gonna be asleep in probably like two seconds but while I'm getting really into bed, I thought I would at least get started with the next challenge so that I am ahead of the game. So the next challenge is hashtag sticking it on. This is one where your buddy chooses a book for you. When Emma was in England, she bought me this present of Strong Poison by Dorothy L. Sayers. I decided that counts for her picking a book for me. So let's see how much of this I can read before I fall fast asleep. I read a chapter of Strong Poison before falling asleep, already really enjoying it. But this morning, we're now on day two of the Book buddy -thon. I'm not going to start by reading it, I'm going to start by going and getting my nails done. Ready for holiday. Cheers! Just been cooking my lunch, and this is very much a lunch of two halves. Look how good this rice looks. It's like a vegetable and onion rice, tomato, looks delish. Look how shit these meatballs look. They're like squished little pancakes. It's lucky I'm going to Greece tomorrow to get some real food. So it's three o'clock, day two of the book by the Athon. I'm eating my lentil meatballs. I haven't yet done a single bit of reading today. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna read because I've got a pack now, because we're going on holiday tomorrow, leaving the house at like 6 a.m. And this afternoon, we're going to Mamma Mia at the cinema. So I guess once I finish with my shit looking meatballs, I better pack my suitcase. Does that count as packing? My books are already spilling out of the suitcase and I haven't even packed my makeup yet or my shoes. Gonna have to get crafty. But not right now, because now I'm off to Mamma Mia! Time to get my first and probably only bit of reading for today done now on the tube. Mamma Mia, ba -ba -ba, here we go again. That was the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life, in my whole life. Her whole and the little ever see. And now I've got that feeling of sadness when you're like, I've already seen the best movie I've ever gonna see, so there's nothing left. You there? Yeah, I Okay, <laughs> bye. I have a fish finished packing. Now all I have to do is get enough sleep. It's too early. Do, do, do. And we're off. We're all going on a summer holiday. <laughs> 
welcome to Greece. We have just arrived in the most insanely amazing villa. I just have to show you what this place is like. So coming to the front door, we have our rather swish kitchen area. This is the master bedroom and holy balls, look at that window. To our right here, a rather nice little balcony drinks area. I'm imagining us sipping on some rosé sitting there. Friendly little cracker on the ground. I've seen like three of those already in the five minutes that we've been here. Anyway, up the stairs to where my bedroom is. Our bedroom will be this one. And it's even got a little balcony area. Oh, and then let's go down to the pool. A lovely infinity pool, which I think I'm gonna get in right now because it's boiling. Place to play games, even a hammock. I imagine this is where I'm gonna be doing a lot of my reading. There's even a little gym in there so you can work out on the treadmill while looking out over those views. Anyway, I think it's time for me to get myself in that pool now. <laughs> I did it! I finished my book! <laughs> That's the end of my clip. <laughs> and now it's 11 o'clock. I'm not even tired. Maybe I'll start another book. Let's see what my next book is on my list, actually. So the next challenge on the book Buddy Athon is two. I forgot what it is. No, I know what it was. Basically, it's based on the rating. So I just read a book that Emma picked for me, which was Strong Poison, and I gave it like four out of five stars, I think. I really liked it. So if you gave it a four out of five, then the next challenge is to read a book with a buzzword that your buddy picked for you. So I'm kind of cheating at this one because the buzzword that she picked is supposed to be in the title, and the buzzword that she picked, oh, hi, Arj, um, is glass. And I didn't have a book that had glass in the title, but I have a book that has glass kind of on the cover. It looks like shattered glass, so I'm gonna read this. This is my secret YouTube life, because I have a secret YouTube life, this is it. <laughs> I'm gonna read that and then fall asleep, because actually, I've been awake for a really long time, and I'm more tired than I think. Okay, bye. Good morning. It is not even 11 o'clock, and I'm already like this much of this book, so this is not gonna take me very long, but now we're off to explore the island. <laughs> it's a long, long way to the top. We're driving through a village where the roads are only strictly made for goats. We've just made enemies of everyone in this village by driving our car through when it clearly wasn't supposed to. <laughs> just finished reading my secret YouTube live. So next challenge is to read a book that is set in a country that either you or your buddy would like to visit. So I asked Emma about this. She said that she would like to visit the Czech Republic. Great answer, but I didn't have any books that were set in the Czech Republic. So I'm going for a country that I would like to visit. Let's have a look at what I've got on my little mini bookshelf in here. So a country that I've never been to is Sweden. And I actually brought with me two books that this one's set in Sweden and this one is partly set in Sweden. But I think, because it's the book buddy a -thon, I'm gonna start with this one because this is one that I know Emma really likes. Well, this is our sunny Greek holiday. <laughs> oh, it is still thunderstorming away outside. I'm speeding through this one. I might actually finish this one before I go to sleep tonight. What are you reading? <laughs> you look so scary. <laughs> I always look so scary when you're reading. It's so fun. And they finished. So that is the end of day four of the readathon, and I just finished book four, so I am bang on track. I'm going to pick my next book tomorrow because right now it's my bedtime. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Well, I've done rather well because the next challenge is to read a book that your buddy gave five stars to and that was an age of license So I just hit two with one stone. So next I'm going to read the final challenge Which is to read a diverse book. So I'm going to read Headscarves and Hymens, which I'm going to read for my book club Anyway, they have also that's quite like grim and upsetting so it might not be the happiest holiday read, but we'll see Any sharks? No. That's the reading corner I'm halfway through Headscarves and Hymens, but it's bloody sad taking a break to come to the beach with some Jumpin' Lahiri short stories. RG's here too, he's my favourite. One of us is crying, one of us is lying in her lonely bed. Do, 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 do. Having a shandy. Me with my friends. <laughs> I haven't read almost any of my books today. I read like more than one book every day so far and I haven't 
barely read my book today. I read um, the book called Keep You Close. Oh yeah, and I guess Lucy Whitehouse. Oh, yeah, but strange. it was so good. And except there was another little piece at the end which I didn't guess. And then I'm now reading a book called The Suicide Club. My book's just too sad. Just finished this, which is a really intense book, but so, so good. I'm so glad I read it. This is one for my book club, so we're going to have lots to talk about. Which means that technically, I've just ticked off all of the challenges for the book bunny a -thon. But I did double up on one of them, so I only actually read five books for six challenges. I've still got two days left of the challenge, so I think what I'll do is I'll go back to one of the challenges I doubled up on. I read An Age of Licence for two challenges. So I can do another one for a country that I wanted to visit because I did say I had that other book that was set in Sweden. And here it is, A Man Called Uwe. I've wanted to read this for ages anyway. So I think I can read this in the next two days and then I will really have nailed the challenge. Good morning. I've got a sunburnt back and an oversized hat on. And I'm going to finish my final challenge with the book ready -a <laughs> I've barely read anything all day. Been having too much fun. <laughs> I'm a seahorse. <laughs> What you doing? Just reading a book. Last night I was taking a walk along the river when I saw him together with a young girl. And the look that he gave her made me shiver. Cause he always used to look at me that way. Here he comes. Strictly speaking, in order to finish the book by the Athon, I do need to finish this book today. And seeing as we start drinking before getting up supper at like seven, it means I have to finish it in an hour and a half, which I think is not gonna happen. But let's see, no harm in trying. Yeah, so that obviously didn't happen because now it's rosy time and games time. That red floating dot up there <laughs> is the moon in an eclipse. <laughs> Well, that was technically the end of the book by the Athon, and I haven't finished A Man Called Uwe, but I did take off all of the challenges, even if I did double up. And what's extra fun is that I'm gonna give myself a bonus because it's only Friday night and I don't go home until Sunday. So I'm gonna keep reading until then, so I'll just give you guys a treat of watching all of that too. Last day, last day. Well, I finished it and you bloody try not to cry. That was so good. So that means I have now officially finished the book by the Athon. I've ticked off all of the challenges. I'm gonna go and text Emma and see how she did. I'm not ready for our holiday to end. I want to always read with this kind of view behind me. I'm now reading The Clockmaker's Daughter, which I was reading before we came here, but it's really long and there's so many characters. So I'm kind of struggling to remember who everyone is. I'm gonna get back into it. Please don't make us go home. <laughs> I don't want to go home tomorrow. I want to be real. I'm having this terrible nightmare that our holiday is over. It's all coming to an end. Are you having the same nightmare? All the good things must end. That's more of the story, kids. Bye, Barbie. Fine, I guess I'll be on the train home. Just this, which means that on this holiday in the last week or so, I have officially read six and a half books. It doesn't mean that I'm now ready for some of the books. And we're back! Sadly, back home. So, overall, for the Book Buddy Athon, I ticked off all of the challenges, and if we're including the few little bonus days I got myself, I did read six and a half books. So, not bloody bad, if you ask me. And I also ate a lot of Greek food, which was delicious, and I'm now very full and full of knowledge from all of my books and the favourite book that I read was probably A Man Called Uwe which I just absolutely loved. It was so beautiful. So leave a comment below if you took part in the Book buddy -a or if you're planning to take part in the booktube -a which is happening this week, I think, whenever I post this, whenever I get around to posting this. And also, seeing as this is the Book buddy -a Love Island edition, leave any Love Island thoughts you've got below. I am sitting here watching the semi-final right now. I'm very excited for tomorrow. Danny and Jack to win. See you guys next time.